Okay, uh, just checking. Yes, we are live. Okay, guys, sorry for that interruption. I think we're back. Uh, again, as I said, this is a very, very, very interesting episode. Uh, and we have a beautiful speaker today uh, because we have a lot of interesting information that we can ask our expert today. Now, let me give you a very quick introduction of our expert. Our expert uh, is Mr. Basan, sir. He has been investing in the stock market for the last 32 years, right? Now, 32 years, obviously, is a long time. So he has a lot of experience in the space as well. Apart from that, he's also very well known in trying to find and identify multi-bagger stocks. And some of the very important multi-bagger stocks that he has found and invested in are companies like Titan Industries, uh, Hawkins, Page Industries, Groove Finance, Repco Finance, and a lot more, right? Now, apart from this, he is also the author of a bestseller book called The Thoughtful Investor. And in 2016, Mr. Basan Sir has started his own SEBI registered portfolio management service uh, called the Basan Maheshwari Wealth Advisors, right? Now... You would have also seen him multiple times on different news channels like CNBC, uh, Bloomberg, every every other in, in news articles like ET Now, etc. Right. So again, today I want you guys to ask as many questions as possible to Basan Sir, and I'm gonna give the floor to Basan Sir. Hello, thank you, Sir, for coming here and giving us some time of the day. Uh, over to you, Sir. Thank you, Shashank. So uh, I mean, it's a great day to be doing this because uh, the US CPI numbers have come. And I think this one is the decisive one. It just puts to rest that the inflation is more of a short-term phenomena and we are nearing the end of the painful era. And uh, I think uh, today's uh, rally in the US markets uh, will be followed by tomorrow's Federal Reserve talk. And that's going to set the agenda for the next at least one or two years to come because I think the market has discounted the worst best, uh, much before the event. And uh, that's, that's the broad context in which we speak today. So, but the topic for today is the small cap. So how is the small cap important for what we've uh, for the news flow that has come today is small caps do well when there is a huge bull market coming around. And when there's a huge bull market, the smaller capitalized companies do well because people, the retail public flux onto them. The institutions don't like small caps because uh, there's an entry problem and there's an exit problem. Entry problem, exit problem is that you have to buy 5 share there's not much enough liquidity or you have to buy 5 lakh, then there is all not much enough liquidity. So the time is good because everyone wants to buy when things are good. But when the things go bad, even the best of stocks lose liquidity. So if a small cap and you want to get out of it and the situation has become bad, then obviously you have to dump the stock around. That's why people don't normally invest in small caps. But the big money is made in small caps. And the big money is also lost in small caps. So what's the differentiator that defines whether the money would be made or the money would be lost. It's not the management so much. It's more about the business model of a small cap. So we did this small research a uh, few weeks back and we figured out that small cap banks normally don't do well. So you've got a... Uh, plenty of small cap banks, uh, then you would figure out that they don't do well. Of course, in times like these, you see small cap PSU banks hitting 20% circuit up, but uh, those stocks haven't moved for 15 years. So how on earth would you know that today, the 13th of December is the day to buy an XYZ PSU bank uh, for you to make money? So small cap textile companies don't do well. Small cap uh, uh, cement plants normally do okay, but small cap metals don't do well. So these are the things that don't do well. So which is the one which does the best? A small cap consumer does the best because consumer means you have a brand, you have a pricing power. Uh, small cap, uh, normally uh, you would have seen that uh, small cap uh, home for home furnishing companies do well. So we had a Hawkins, you have a TTK Prestige, you could call them a consumer durable or you could call them a consumer company as such. So these are the type of companies that do well uh, over a longer period of time. So uh, what's the differentiator between a company that does well and a company that doesn't do well? That's the return on equity. So there's a widespread gap in the small cap space. So the best of companies would be doing a 40, 50% ROE and the worst of companies would be doing a 10, 12% ROE. In the large cap space, the diversion isn't too much. So every, everything is like a cluster. So large cap is like a McGrath's bowling map. So, you know, uh, within a, a 12 square inches, all the balls would be dropping. But if you have a small cap thing, one ball would drop at the leg stump and the other would go outside the off stump. So that's the difference in a small cap. So you have to figure out whether the pitch map that you figure that you've tried to figure out is correct or not. So in my small experience of things, my biggest capital was made in a small cap called Pantaloon Retail. I bought it when it was 75 crores market cap. So at 75 crores market cap, you could buy the entire Pantaloon Retail in the year 2003. Page Industries, when I bought it, it was 350 crores market cap. 
you could buy the entire company with 350 crores today it's 45000 crores so pantaloon retail finally went bankrupt that's another issue and i could make money as i keep saying because i didn't know so much of investing so uh, if i knew too many uh, things about so the basic problem in small cap is it's more of a conviction based thing but then you don't have to get stubborn with what you have bought because if you are a small retail investor you can always take an exit and move out you don't fight a small cap company that is not doing well you try and move out of it so what we have tried to figure out if are to set out in our uh, bm focused small cap small cases we have picked up 15 companies from across sectors that's consumer we have financial services uh, we have uh, companies uh, from home improvement we have home finance companies so well, another small cap which did phenomenally well for me was Gru finance so that was also three four hundred crores market cap it went up to uh, billions of dollars of market cap again a small cap home finance company uh, it used to borrow cheap it used to lend expensive uh, so it we used to make it uh, spread that way so these are so what you do is you just go and see what has worked and what has not worked for example i always give this example it's something that has worked in us normally works in india and you have a 10 15 year lag because things happen in us earlier it happens in india after a lag of 10 15 years so you can go and check whether the business model has worked in america or not if it has worked there there is a big possibility that it's going to work in india also so these are the broad contours with uh, within which we have uh, set this uh, scheme up and as usual we are putting 5 lakhs every month of our own money into this so people will say 5 lakh aapke net worth ka percentage kya hai ye bata dijiye but my question is why do you want to know my net worth you want to figure out whether i am putting my money or not Achai, even if you say somebody is rich or somebody is not rich nobody puts 5 lakhs like that so why we do it is because it's not a ma it's obviously it helps in marketing of scheme i mean how, how can i say it doesn't help but then the basic thing is uh, we don't want to put anything in the market where we are not putting our own money in so tomorrow we bring a new small case scheme we will again have this rider of having put a, of putting our own money into the scheme so the bm vision 2030 we put 10 lakhs every month bm uh, focused small cap 15 stocks we have here we put 5 lakhs every month so 15 lakh to mahine ke hum small case mein dalte hain koi naya scheme laenge fir usme bhi paisa dalenge <clears throat> because the idea is unless we put the money in i mean uh, my confidence doesn't come out when i tell anyone ki why don't you invest into this scheme so that is the backdrop and i think uh, we can now open the house for questions and if we have questions we'll be able to uh, frame more answers and share more views on them Got it. So I think, sir, uh, very interesting thing that you said, I think right at the start as well, when you started saying that small caps do really well just before the bull run, right? Um, so a question here, uh, looking at the current market right now, do you think our bull run is over and is it a good time to invest in small cap? Or do you think after your inflation index that's come out recently and nifty very close to its all time high again, is it a good time right now to start investing in small caps? Shashank, the market won't top off till the small mm -hmm. caps have made their rally. So the Nifty right. will wait, it will pause. It's like uh, an adult and a child running mm -hmm. up across a mountain. So the adult is fitter, he's faster, he's cleaner, he takes large strides. But then, you know, every seven, eight hundred meters, he jumps up and down and then he waits for the child to catch up. He says, Bhai, tum bhi aajau, dhe dhe, main wait kar raha. So the Nifty is the adult. And the small cap is the child. Uh, and why the market wouldn't top off without the small caps participating is because the markets don't top off unless they've sucked in the last retailer. That's the that's a phenomena. So you know, we, we give you those old monotonous, boring examples of Panwala asking for tapes or shoe shine boy asking for tapes, but they're boring in a sense because it's the same Panwala and the shoe shine shoe shine boy that we take as an example. But if you just step back and see, no market hits a top till it sucks the last guy in. The last of the nay naysayers, the non-believers have to be sucked in. And unless the small caps are moving, it doesn't tell you that the last guy has been sucked in because the last guy will never buy ultra tech. He will yeah. always go and buy a Sagar cement. So no yeah. recommendation here because usko lagta hai ye 7000 ka ultra tech ka leke kya hoega. But hmm. agar usko steady game khelna hai to 7000 ka ultra tech mein banega. But he wants to play the Chris Gale type story. He wants to hit the ball out of the ground, not just of the ground, out of this park also. Yeah. So once you have the small caps moving up and catching pace, then 
you would have a situation where you can say the markets have topped up. So I can bet my last penny and say that no market normally tops off unless unless the small caps participate. And uh, uh, I mean, our viewers would know because I think we got thousands of uh, investors in the BM Vision uh, 2030. We mm -hmm. launched it on 20th June. Incidentally, that was the day the Nifty made a bottom. And wow. the small cap was launched on 29th November. And we were in so much of a hurry to launch it because we thought that we have to catch it somewhere near the bottom. So mm -hmm. that is it. But uh, normally you don't catch a bottom in a market. It's not possible to catch it. If it comes to you, good enough. If it doesn't come to you, it's normal. But yeah. uh, broadly, this is my understanding that the small caps won't top off till, I mean, the Nifty won't top off till the small caps participate and join the rally. Got it. So there is a very interesting question by uh, one person in the audience called Vinod James. So what he's saying is, how do you identify the catalyst that will allow a small cap company to maybe grow its sales by 25 to 30%, right? Uh, so the main question here is maybe it's just a sales yeah. catalyst or is there any other catalyst that you usually identify these small cap companies and how do you do them is the main question. See, predominantly it has to be sales. So uh, in our small cap, focused small cap 15, we have two home finance companies, which I think 80% of people haven't even heard of. Both of them are private equity backed. So you know that some kind of due diligence has been made into them. And both are growing at 20, 25%. We, I personally, I made my money by Gru Finance and Repco Home Finance. Grow, both grew to 25% and above. So home finance, easy to grow. So I'll give you one more home finance company, which is very popular, which is called Avas. Avas is great, but Avas doesn't leverage more than three times. Its ROA is good, but if you don't leverage your ROA, it doesn't uh, create any growth for you. It's like saying that I'm driving a Ferrari, but I'm, I want to drive it through Kalba Devi. So if you want to drive a Ferrari through Kalba Devi, you cannot drive it at more than 30, 40 kilometers hour per hour. That's the maximum. So that's the problem with a company that doesn't leverage itself. So we want to buy companies that are and again, nothing is a recommendation here. So we want to buy companies that are growing at 20, 25%. So I will not buy a company that has land on its books and which will be sold. And then everybody will get rich because the land has been sold and the money paid off as dividends because there are too many uh, speed bumps to that story. The first story is the land has to be sold. The second story is that money has to come in fight. Uh, the promoter doesn't take cash. The third story is that the promoter distributes them as dividends and not just holds the company and its shareholders to ransom saying, I'm not going to distribute the money. So we normally want to play simpler games where the operating business will make money for us and not the assets that the company is sitting on. Of course, we have one company that is growing the operating uh, revenues by 15, 18% and it's sitting on assets, which is the land and the cash on books, which is equal to almost the market cap. So we have companies like this, but the operating business of the company is again growing at 15, 17, 18%, but that's what we want to bet at. So, okay. so predominantly it's the sales and the growth rate at which it's yeah. going and you want to keep it right. about 20%, yes. somewhere close to that range. Okay, very nice. Very interesting. So there's another very nice question from Arpit. So Arpit says the general tendency in the stock market is what people will stereotype it or brand it is that small cap is the riskiest amongst uh, all the other large cap mid cap. Small cap is the most riskiest. Now, considering Super. that as an investor, what percentage of portfolio should be in small caps is what Arpit is asking. I mean, that's a tough one. If it is generalized, and if I just generalize, I wouldn't put more than, see, if I'm just starting off, right, and I've got a few lakhs in hand, I'd put the last penny into a small cap because I want to either make it big or lose what I have because there's no life living, uh, uh, I mean, carrying out your life as a normal guy struggling 13 hours a day, morning at your office directly boss ki gaadiya sunni padegi so you want to make it big you've got limited capital take the risk plunge it in put it into small caps if you've got limited capital don't buy ultra tech if you've got limited capital don't buy bajaj finance of course we have these are interested we are interested into these companies but because bajaj finance like a chamatkar nahi hogi zindagi mein zindagi mein chamatkar hogi small cap dekha so then risk up case identify karoge? for example, aapko, the same thing I said, a small cap home finance company, for example, a small cap consumer company, uh, for instance, if you can just pick them up, a small cap company uh, that is uh, focused more on uh, how more on IT services, for example, because in IT services, whether you're a small cap or a large cap, 
see about uh, four years back the large it businesses used to have an advantage so if there was a hundred one billion dollar deal it would normally go to a tcs or an infosys so these days even the americans have become smarter they break a one billion dollar deal into 10 deals of 100 million each and give it to 10 different people so the disparity between mid cap it and large cap it which was there about four years back has almost vanished away so it services a technology small cap you you could buy that because that gives you the niche the power to uh, muscle yourself around but if you're buying a steel company you can't buy a small cap steel company because there are no economies of buying there are no economies of selling there's no economies of scale and producing so you don't get benefited out of it you want to buy a company that has got a niche or that's got the advantage with itself and that's why i said uh, in the kalaktai series a couple of uh, weeks back or i think last week we wrote the kind of companies that make money while you buy a uh, small cap obviously and the kind of small caps that don't make money and uh, shashank i think you might be aware and we send this uh, bi weekly the kalaktai series which normally captures our view on the market and the macros and the funds and the schemes and the uh, process in which we pick up stocks and in which we make money and we don't make money so mm. we try and combine all our experiences there so we've explained that the kind of companies that make money while you do buy small caps and what is this is this like a newsletter or is this a youtube yeah, it's, it's a no newsletter. no it's 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 a it's a newsletter where it goes Got twice it. a week uh, sunday and wednesday Beautiful, and I think uh, Shashank Patil has another question. What other essential fundamental triggers do you look when it comes to uh, investing in small caps? Is apart from the sales that you mentioned, right? Is there any other scuttlebutt, or is there anything else that you look at? Uh, because small caps are, you know, the, sometimes the information is not completely open. Sometimes very less information compared to mid cap and large cap. So, what are some basic checklist or you know things that you look See, at? See, uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell you, and this is what I used to follow. so i had a small cap called pantaloon retail and uh, when in the moment i used to speak to anyone at that time that was about 20 years back 2002 2003 ki mere paas pantaloon retail hai bolta tha are pagal ho kya kaun si company leke rakhe ho aap to i used to follow there were there was one invested a small cap world fund i think it was capital international ka one of the fund so small cap world fund was invested in pantaloon for a long time so i used to follow with a small cap world fund is still invested in pantaloon retail for each of the quarters and my logic was those guys must have done a lot of research before buying the company so even in a small cap you found the best stock in the town hmm. always be sure that there is one mutual fund guy or one large hni who's known for his stock picking skills also invested into that company this way you will not be the only charlie in town holding the uh, company when something goes wrong there is someone else who's also done some due diligence but then if you want to buy a company which nobody knows of and no one's heard of and no one has a clue about then you're carrying too much risk because as an individual even i take my name on that it's not possible for me to uh do all the 365 checks into a business so mm. normally i also look for i used to look for not so much these days for a mutual fund or an fii or a large hni just one koi to hona chahiye ek so mm. uh, you know if you have just one of those guys invested into a small cap company you can be rest assured ki kuch to due diligence usne bhi kiya hoga i am not the only one who is being just getting carried away by what i see on the screen so that's one way to yeah. look at it i think that gives you a fair good idea and some confidence also you see mm. these stocks fall widely so if a small cap will fall 25% pe to aapko samajh hi nahi aayega kya hoega aap to kisi ko phone karoge jo 25 30% ghatega bole abhi kya ho gaya gira kyon yaar bola pata nahi dekhte hain yaar bas suna tha ye hua wo by the time the stock falls 50% you know this this is the reason why it's falling so right. by the time it falls 60% now the now the thing is it it will fall 60% when it falls 60% and if the business is sure to survive that's the bottom stocks don't mm-hmm. fall more than 50 60% and right now if you would have seen most of the small caps are down between 40 to 60% and that's the reason why we launched this small cap focused uh, fund right now so because we think that this is almost uh, closer to the bottoming out process correct oh that makes sense i think what you mentioned right now towards the end uh, you know it going down by 40% 60% there's a very similar question i think we've not james asked that uh, because there is a lot of volatility in the small cap market um, what is the acceptable drawdown should we even look at an acceptable drawdown or should we even not look at that and as you said look at it from a fundamental standpoint you know they got drawdown mai mai ye sikha hu last 2 saal mein 
कि आप दो साल में पहले नहीं सीखे थे यू सम सम थिंग्स टेक टाइम फॉर यू टू लर्न नो मैटर नो मैटर हाउ गुड योर कंपनी इज इफ द ओवरऑल मार्केट इज गोइंग डाउन योर कंपनी विल गो डाउन 200 हंड्रेड चार्टिस्ट विल बॉदर यू डे इन एंड डे आउट यू हैव टू शट द नॉइज आउट बिकॉज वो ट्वेंटी डे भी तोड़ेगा फाइव डे भी तोड़ेगा फिफ्टी डे भी तोड़ेगा टू हंड्रेड डे भी तोड़ेगा और टू हंड्रेड वीक भी तोड़ेगा तो हम लोग को क्या है ना वी ऑलवेज लुक एट द लाइट एट द एंड ऑफ द टनल एंड द टनल इज वन विच नेवर एंड सो वेन इट ब्रेक्स फाइव डे वी सिल वी लुक फॉर टेन डे वेन इट ब्रेक्स टेन डे वी लुक फॉर ट्वेंटी डे वेन इट ब्रेक्स ट्वेंटी डे वी लुक फॉर फिफ्टी डे देन हंड्रेड डे देन टू हंड्रेड डे बट it can go to any level if the market keeps falling the stock will keep falling unless uh, it's of an outstanding variety which is like uh, it's say say if it's an hindustan unilever or a nestle mm-hmm. then it won't fall more than 12 13 14 15 percent so consumer stocks don't fall more than 20 percent financial services don't fall high quality don't fall more than 25 30 35 percent If you go to uh, another length, then then you see uh, consumer durables fall thirty thirty five percent, and if you go into the bottom most, I mean the textile names and all those kind of companies, then they can fall forty fifty percent. But the point is, you cannot just say that because these stocks will fall so much, I don't want to invest. Because if a small cap falls forty percent, the large cap will also fall twenty twenty percent. So. your problem is only 20% of the incremental fall in a small cap because you can't have a small cap stock falling 40% where the large cap isn't falling unless there's something wrong with the company so i think that's a proper way of looking at it that if the market falls everything falls if the market doesn't fall then normally things don't fall correct got it uh, there's a very similar question on those lines by jay bagra from the audience uh, what he's saying is how do we minimize the risk when we invest in small caps right because there is an element of risk there मिनिमाइज रिस्क ऐसा करो कि आपकी अर्निंग्स जो है ना जो आप कंपनी खरीदे हो उसकी अर्निंग्स 20 परसेंट बढ़नी चाहिए 20 25 परसेंट सो इफ यू हैव एन एक्सेप्टेबल अर्निंग ग्रोथ ऑफ 24 परसेंट देन इन थ्री इयर्स द कंपनी ईपीएस शुड डबल द रूल ऑफ 72 72 टू सेवेंटी टू बाई थ्री गिव्स यू ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी परसेंट अगर अर्निंग्स ग्रोथ है देन इन थ्री ईयर्स योर कंपनी ईपीएस फिल डबल इफ यूर कंपनी ईपीएस डबल इन थ्री ईयर्स विच मीन्स दैट योर वैल्यूएशन बिकम्स हाफ so the problem is if you buy a 100 pe company growing at 15% then there is a problem because if a company's eps is growing 15% and it's a 100 pe then even after 5 years it it's still going to be 50 pe but if it's a 60 pe or a 50 pe and if it's growing at 25% then in 3 years a 50 pe becomes a 25 pe because the earnings have doubled so the mm-hmm. earnings is your only is your only safeguard in a bear market because that will ensure that you can sleep well at night or agar usme free cash flow aa gaya to fir what happens is free cash flow companies don't fall so much so if you what what is the free cash flow free cash flow is something where even after making up for all your capital investments and your day to day expenses you are still left with some free cash mm-hmm. to distribute which means your roe would be high so if you don't know how to compute free cash flow on a spreadsheet all you have to go and figure out is agar 40% roe hai to guarantee free cash flow hoga it's a simplest way of figuring out whether a company has free cash flow or not just go and figure out the roe if the roe is 40% or 35% or 50% anything more than 35% then normally the company will be free cash flow but free cash flow companies don't fall so much so that's why you have a consumer company which doesn't fall so much because it's free cash flow that's why you have a metal company or a manufacturing company or a textile company which falls 40 50% because they're not free cash flow they need all the incremental cash to be plowed back to maintain whatever they have produced and to also set up new capacities so if your free cash flow is good enough then that holds you well in terms of volatility got it uh, there's a question by shashank patel um, so i'll just reframe it a little bit so what yeah. he's asking is uh, is it good if small cap companies give dividends or do you prefer companies that don't give dividends i prefer companies that don't give dividends but if it's a free cash flow then i'd rather have my company give me back a dividend than hold the money in on its balance sheet on the mm-hmm. asset side बिकॉज अगर उसके पास काम नहीं है पैसा करने का तो मुझे दे दो मैं ही खरीद लूंगा उसी के शेयर है कुछ और बट अगर कंपनी कैपेसिटी में एक्सपैंड कर रही है तो फिर ऑब्वियसली देन यू डोंट वांट देम टू बी गिविंग यू बैक डिविडेंड्स या करेक्ट 
and a question by niladri nath uh, he is asking in the next 3 to 5 years what do you think are the most promising sectors according to you in the small cap industry i can speak from my portfolio which we have there yeah. i think consumer small cap will do well home finance small cap will do well these yeah. are the two broad and basic so so there are these broadcasting small small cap companies the uh, you could say the media streaming or the broad broadcasting small cap companies that could also do well uh, but then uh, these are very small pockets small cap you won't have 70 80 companies that will do well you'll just have 15 20 25 30 maybe you will have 60 but out of the 60 you will only be aware of the 25 and the 30 and the balance 25 30 mm-hmm. will come to your knowledge and will come to you only after they have gone up because it's not possible for everyone to figure out all the 60 companies that will do well over the next 3 years so right. you have to wind yourself down and just focus on the on the few that you have correct got it and uh, a very nice uh, i think an age old question that a lot of people ask i think from the same person uh, so what is saying is it a good time to invest right now with respect to lump sum or do you believe we need to like do kind of an sip and if an sip then is it a monthly quarterly yearly by you know six monthly what do you prefer while you are doing a small cap strategy agar aap small cap mein dal rahe ho ek mahine mein paisa dal do every agar aap large ek mahine mein every week karke dal do okay agar aap large cap dal rahe ho मल्टी कैप डाल रहे हो जैसे हमारा बी एम विजन टू थाउजेंड थर्टी इज अ मल्टी कैप तो आप मंथली डालते रहो देन देर इज नो नीड टू हरी आप बिकॉज दोज काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज हैर काइंड ऑफ टेकन ऑफ एंड विल कीप डूइंग वेल ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बट स्मॉल कैप्स में रिटर्न कम्स इन बंचेज इट्स नॉट दैट यू बॉड अ स्टॉक एंड देन देर इज नो स्टडी थिंग हियर इन अ स्मॉल कैप इधर इट गोज अप लाइक अ रॉकेट और इट कम्स डाउन uh like a stone in water so that that's uh, how they function so you should figure out that over the next 30 days uh maybe in 4 weeks 5 weeks mera jo allocation hai main dal dunga uske baad shanivar ko hanuman ji ke mandir jaiye aur peda chadhaiye aur sochiye sabka hi bhala ho no this is a good question somebody asked i think with related uh, with respect to the small cases that you currently have right so jo do small case which is bm focus small cap and bm vision 2030 fund what is the difference between the two is what people are yeah. trying to understand so bm vision the average market cap is 60000 crores now it would be 70000 because the stocks have all gone up mm-hmm. so 70000 crores market cap bm uh, focus small cap is 15000 crores market cap 15 so that gives you a sense of the difference because there we are more established more stable companies where uh, you can buy you can hold you can keep them for years you can buy slowly you can sell slowly ye small cap is slow wala kaam nahi hai yahan jhatpan hi hona so hoga aap abhi agar chalenge to sab ek sath hi rocket ki tarah chal padenge uske baad aapko lagega are yaar ye to ho gaya sab but uh, the big money will be made in the small caps the large cap will make you steady and stable returns the small cap will make you big and a little volatile returns got it and um, okay that is very interesting right uh, so another question that somebody asked right? when you're looking at small cap companies you said looking at roe is very important because yeah. if it gives a good roe it's great uh, but there is a question by anand trivedi which is which is talking about when you look at small cap companies with respect to valuation uh, do we look at the pe ratio and no. other things or kya dekhte ho नो नो एन एनिमोली सो स्मॉल कैप्स में आप वैल्यूएशन थोड़ा इग्नोर कर सकते हो अगर आपका ग्रोथ ज्यादा है तो अगर आपको स्मॉल कैप ग्रोथ कंपनी में लिए जो फोर्टी परसेंट बढ़ रही है तो आप वैल्यूएशन इग्नोर कर सकते हो बिकॉज इट्स मच इजियर फॉर अ टू हंड्रेड क्रोर रेवेन्यू कंपनी टू बिकम अ फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर रेवेन्यू कंपनी देन फॉर अ ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड क्रोर रेवेन्यू कंपनी टू बिकम अ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड क्रोर रेवेन्यू कंपनी सो टू हंड्रेड से फाइव हंड्रेड क्रोर रेवेन्यू जम्प उतना डिफिकल्ट नहीं है जितना बीस हजार से पचास हजार करोड़ का रेवेन्यू जंप है बिकॉज जब आप दो सौ करोड़ का रेवेन्यू कर रहे हो तो आप बोलते पूरा इंडिया मेरे हाथ में है मैं पुणे में खोलूंगा सतारा में खोलूंगा मैं बर्धवान में खोलूंगा मैं इधर खोलूंगा उधर चार डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर उधर लगाऊंगा अमेजोन में लिस्ट करूंगा वहां से बेचूंगा यहाँ करूंगा सब पढ़ूंगा बट अगर लार्ज कैप है तो आपने ऑलरेडी हर जगह खोल के रखा है अब आप सोच रहे हो वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर ढंग से काम नहीं करता उसको चेंज करके मैं वो बढ़िया वाला लाऊं मैं कुछ ये वाला एक नया प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करूं मैं एक नया लाइन ऑफ बिजनेस एस्टेब्लिश करूं सो दैट्स द डिफरेंशिएटर बिटवीन द टू सो इन अ लार्ज कैप यू हैव टू बी अ लिटिल मोर फोकस्ड ऑन द वैल्यूएशंस इन अ स्मॉल कैप वैल्यूएशन यू कैन नॉट इग्नोर देम बट यू कैन जस्ट टेक अ एजुकेटेड गेस वर्क एंड से ओके आई विल गो विद अ हाई वैल्यूएशन दैट्स इन मैटर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन द कमेंट्स आर एक्साइटेड अबाउट योर the bm focus small cap fund which is 
the minimum investment is around 50,000, 50, right? But there's a question here, I think two, three questions on your BM focused fund itself. So the first question is, um, would you recommend me to invest in a small case if I can SIP it to a maximum of 10 lakhs, considering the fees being 14,000 for six yes. months, will it make yes. sense? Yes. So if you put 50,000, then don't put it in your money. I mean, this is not a dukandari thing. I mean, I'm telling you upfront, if you put 50,000, then don't put it here. You put it in other people. Because if you put 50,000, then what will you do? You won't do anything. So don't do that. Put more money. Scale up as much as you can. And in my opinion, invest in small cap because large cap rally uh, ho gai, uh, stable chale ki. It's, it's not see the large caps cannot go 30 percent from here but right. the small caps can go 30 percent from here if they don't there is nothing to lose also mm-hmm. so that's a proper way of looking at it and see this is a flat fees product Aap isme 5 crore ya 5 lakh to utna hi milenge paise, right mm-hmm. so the more you put uh better for you it's like buying a research service for uh, say thirty thousand a year to aap jitna zyada daloge utna zyada aapko fayda hoga and plus, uh, don't do one thing, which is out of the 15, don't try and shortlist those 15 and buy 10 stocks out of them. Because mm-hmm. when we say that we will not say that we will not say that we will not say that we Because with small caps, the ones which you don't buy will go up first. And the ones which you buy will go up last. This is the problem. So you have to buy all of those companies because we have divided it across sectors, across geographies, across businesses. So mm-hmm. you should buy all 15 of them and not try and uh, think that this is not going to increase. I think this is going to increase. I think this is going to increase. So we have done balancing with that. So we have risked the risk. So what we have seen as risk, we have given a little weightage. Where we were a little more stable, we have given a little weightage. And say, what is the minimum amount of investment that you need to do in your BM focused uh, for it to be viable with, after catching the fees? Because a lot of people are asking that question. I think if you look at that way, then you should add 8-10 lakh rupees in one year. Hmm. See, and plus one thing I will tell you. Makes sense. And this is what everybody does. So as a, yeah. uh, as a dukandar, I cannot say, no, no, I will not say this. You have to give money once and make your portfolio, right? This portfolio will stay with you for the next 2, 3, 4 years. So it's not that it's not a one year thing, unless you think that at the end of one year, you want to liquidate everything because all these companies, uh, once you have a uh, look at the portfolio, you will figure out that they're not the normal names that go around in town. So we've tried to pick them up in the sense that kare over a period of time. So we are not mm-hmm. taking a one year view on this. You should buy these companies and hold them and you should keep pouring further cash also into them because that's the only way which uh, will kind of bring down your cost. But then yeah. if you don't want to do it, then uh, BM Vision 2030 you can Correct. And I think uh, very similar lines pe ek aur question tha ki, how long do we have to keep this? As you said, uh, sometimes rally happens and then rally khatam ho jata and then so obviously normal investors will not know but according to you, how long do you keep this? No, no. The rally is over in the small caps. Yes. अब अब हर हर मां-बाप को अपने बच्चे सबसे सुंदर नजर आते हैं राइट mm-hmm. तो हमें लगता है कि ये जो 15 स्टॉक हमने ढूंढा है ये दो तीन चार साल तक सेकुलर ग्रोथ चलेगा mm-hmm. अगर जो नहीं चलेगा वो हम चेंज भी कर देंगे कि भाई इसको हटाओ या नया लाओ बट वी थिंक दीस आर स्मॉल कैप्स दैट विल पॉसिबली बिकम मिड कैप्स इफ नॉट लार्ज कैप्स सो इट्स यू शुड नॉट बी इन अ हरी टू सेल देम ऑफ सो आई थिंक सम पीपल हियर वुड हैव जॉइंड आल्सो एक स्टॉक तो हमने डाला था वो नेक्स्ट वीक ही अगले हफ्ते ही 20% circuit up ho gaya tha ab wo dheere dheere 2 3 4% niche aaya to ye nahi ki 20% circuit up ho gaya to humne bola re bech do bech do bech do ab isko wapas because hamara target bada hai us pe ab 20% circuit up hoga hum bech denge fir lenge ye sab kaam karna nahi hai fir tax dena 15% so wo koi fayda nahi hai kaam karke that's interesting because us usi sawal pe ek question hai ki how frequently would you be rebalancing this small cap uh, small case uh, small cap small case that you have in the future नहीं मतलब ये हम फ्रीक्वेंसी नहीं देंगे देखो क्या है ना कि अगर मुझे रिन्यूअल कराना होगा ना तो मैं बोलूंगा चलो चलो रीबैलेंस करो तब तो रिन्यू करेंगे अगर मैं रीबैलेंस नहीं करूंगा तो कोई रिन्यू नहीं करेगा बिकॉज़ बट वी डोंट वांट टू डू दैट मतलब जस्ट सेक ऑफ रीबैलेंसिंग फॉर द आई इन आवर विजन थिंग वी हैव जस्ट रीबैलेंसड वंस देयर इज वन देयर इज वन रीबैलेंस व्हिच इज ड्यू बट वी जस्ट वेटिंग एंड सीइंग कि यार सही प्राइस आएगा तो ही रीबैलेंस करें नहीं तो वो सब करके फायदा नहीं वी हैव लर्नड इट द हार्ड वे कि आप कोई स्टॉक 
एक क्वार्टर दो क्वार्टर नहीं चलता है यू कैन नॉट से ये कंपनी बेकार हो गई सब फालतू हो गया फॉर hmm. एग्जाम्पल आपके कोई अंकल होंगे चांदनी चौक में जो दुकान कर रहे होंगे बोला अरे सर ईद की सेल कैसी थी बोला ईद की सेल ठंडी थी hmm. वो नहीं बोलता अरे अरे ईद की सेल ठंडी थी कि तुम लोग बिजनेस बंद कर दो चलो कुछ और काम शुरू करते हैं कपड़ा का, का काम छोड़ो हम लोहे का काम शुरू करते हैं बट इन स्टॉक मार्केट अगर एक क्वार्टर खराब होता है बोलता अरे टेक्सटाइल हटाओ टेक्सटाइल बेचो मेटल लेते हैं वापिस so hmm. you cannot keep flickering like that here so Sorry. i think we will rebalance it when we think there is a need to rebalance but normally uh koi set timelines nahi hai uska correct correct and vinod james uh, has asked a very important question uh, a very yeah. interesting question i think when you invest in small caps i think education is the most important uh, so what he is asking is if we invest in the small case uh, what kind of research report can we expect uh, as you i think you mentioned something about the newsletter right so they want little more clarity on uske andar kya hoga ha newsletter uske andar kya hoga wo aapko shayad mila hi hoga ek do to koi kabhi na kabhi to aapko sense aa jayega so it gives you a broad context we don't go By saying अगर हमारे पास खैर बजाज फाइनेंस है ही नहीं हमारे पास स्मॉल कैप में तो अगर स्मॉल कैप जस्ट फॉर टू सेकंड्स अगर बजाज फाइनेंस है वहां पे तो हम बजाज फाइनेंस की एनालिसिस नहीं करते हैं वहां बैठ कर बिकॉज टू हंड्रेड रिसर्च रिपोर्ट फ्लोटिंग एंड डाउन जो बजाज फाइनेंस के ऊपर चालीस चालीस पन्ना लिख के बैठ गए वी टेल यू द कॉन्टेक्सट इन विच अ सर्टन टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस डज वेल ओवर टाइम अ सर्टन मैनेजमेंट डज वेल अ सर्टन मैक्रो एनवायरमेंट सेटअप डज वेल वी टेल यू की ओवरऑल कॉन्टेक्सट में मार्केट डायरेक्शन अभी कहा है बिकॉज द वन थिंग विच यू लर्न ओवर द लास्ट टू इयर्स इज नो मैटर यू बाय द बेस्ट कंपनी इन टाउन अगर ब्रॉड मार्केट बुल ट्रेंड में नहीं है तो mm-hmm. आपको पैसा बनाना बहुत मुश्किल है यू वॉन्ट द मार्केट टू बी द बुल ट्रेंड देन ओनली यू वो मेक मनी सो दीज आर स्मॉल थिंग्स विच वी हैव देर सो मुझे लगता है ये ये करके हम काफी कुछ ट्राई करते हैं टू एडुकेट द पीपल एंड ऑल्सो टू टेल देम की this is what we feel actually it's experience sharing more than anything else understood makes sense and i think ek aur question hai somebody is asking uh, is it important uh, in the small cap stocks when you identify them is it important for stocks to have a monopoly or do you think it's very difficult in that era to have a monopoly in that market capitalization small cap monopoly to aapko winner mil jayega rarity hai small cap monopoly hmm. mujhe to yaad hi nahi hai i don't remember koi small cap monopoly india mein aaya hai of late nahi i don't think so small cap monopoly is a rarity small cap niche is not the same as small cap monopoly and i'll give you an right. example ek choti cement plant hai for example right uh wo arunachal pradesh mein set up hai just example hmm. Hmm. so arunachal pradesh mein agar bihar se cement jayega to transport cost is very high on a bulky item hmm. so it's not a monopoly there but it's a niche market because transport costs prohibit anyone else from coming and selling there and right. if somebody else puts up a cement plant there in arunachal then you need limestone reserves you need other things also so mm-hmm. you get a niche market you can't get a monopoly in a small cap but a niche is good enough correct okay that's that's very nice and one question is there with respect to short term right so ashwin is asking should we shift our money from bm vision small cap to bm small cap fund for better returns if i'm only looking at short term based returns नहीं आई वुड एंड रेकमेंड दैट आप 60 40 का रेशियो रखो 60% यहां रखो 40% स्मॉल कैप में रखो आई थिंक दैट्स अ प्रॉपर वे ऑफ गोइंग अबाउट इट रादर देन जस्ट गोइंग ऑल ऑन दैट परफेक्ट परफेक्ट आई थिंक दैट इज एंड आदर्श पाटिल इज आस्किंग आई डोंट नो इफ यू हैव प्रीवियस डेटा ऑन दिस बट व्हाट ही सेइंग इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली व्हाट इज द रिटर्न्स दैट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम द स्मॉल कैप स्मॉल केस दैट यू हैव द स्मॉल कैप वन See over a long period of time, I think the small cap index will underperform the Nifty. Over so long okay. over a long period of time, because mm-hmm. Nifty is made up of world class fifty companies, but a handful of chosen small caps can do much better than anyone else. Or small caps, we क्या होता है अगर सौ का index है तो सौ के index में you have a Suzlon also and you have a Bank of Maharashtra also. So Bank mm-hmm. of Maharashtra might hit an upper circuit after fifteen years. but what happens to the guy who's held it for 14 years 11 months and 29 days and 23 hours to uski problem hoti hai but on a broader scale i think the nifty will do well then the uh, will do better than the small cap index but a handful of small caps will do better than everyone else correct so i think more concentrated portfolio is yeah. the way to go forward basically uh, nice okay and uh, um okay so j j bagra was asking a question why do many retail investors who try to invest in small caps by themselves usually end up losing money is there something that you, you know the experts are seeing yes, that retail yes, investors yes. are not no, no, seeing no 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 mujhe pata dekho kya hai na 90% retail investor valuation dekhte hain 10% business model dekhte hain ab ye poll kara lo 
कितने जन बिजनेस मॉडल देखते हैं कि वो क्या करती है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वो बोलेंगे नौ का पीए ले लो चौबीस का पीए मत लो सो द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम इज अब इफ अ बिजनेस मॉडल इज गुड इट कैन टर्न एन एक्सपेंसिवली वैल्यूड कंपनी इन टू चीपली वैल्यूड वन एंड इफ अ बिजनेस मॉडल इज बैड इट कैन टर्न अ चीपली वैल्यूड कंपनी इन टू अ वेरी एक्सपेंसिवली वैल्यूड वन सो इट्स द बिजनेस मॉडल दट डिसाइड वेर द स्मॉल कैप्स विल गो एंड नॉट द वैल्युएशन of course you have to look at the valuation but mostly i think people remain fixated with valuations and price earnings ratio and dividend yield and those things i think that's the problem and uh, anyone who's listening to this will figure out and will be able to relate to what i'm saying so you're saying dhanda dekho zyada over analyze mat karo yeah, basically on the valuations yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay interesting and now another question right um, how do you understand management and governance issues that are there in small caps is there a way to identify them or should we not go too deep and look at this yeah aap aap wo company lo which has been in existence for at least 30 years the management second mm-hmm. generation hoga to acha hoga so the what's the pitfall of that the yeah. pitfall is ki yaar tumne 30 saal tak kuch nahi kiya abhi tak small cap hai to to large cap kahan se banega 30 yeah. saal was enough time for you to show magic to the world and you could it but the good part is if you have been around for 30 years then you won't go down to zero you will survive another 30 40 years but mm-hmm. management dekhne ka main ek bahut simple tarika batata hu return on equity 20% ke upar agar hai return on invested capital nahi roic nahi wo useless cheez hai आर ओ बिकॉज आर ओ आई सी में आप क्या करते हो कैश एंड बुक्स हटा देते हो आप इन्वेस्टमेंट हटा देते हो फिर आप बिजनेस दिखाते हो बट वेन आई पे फॉर अ कंपनी आई पे फॉर द कंपनी इन टोटालिटी सो आई वॉन्ट टू लुक एट द रिटर्न ऑन एक्विटी सो एनी कंपनी दैट इज रिटर्न ऑन एक्विटी ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट विल नॉर्मली नॉर्मली नॉट हैव अ फ्रॉड्यूलेंट मैनेजमेंट एनी कंपनी विच एज अ फ्रॉड्यूलेंट मैनेजमेंट विल हैव अ रिटर्न ऑन एक्विटी लेस देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट उसमें क्या होता है वो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स कहीं फंसे होंगे कहीं बैंक में आ, कुछ डिपॉजिट फंसा होगा जो आपको लगता है कि हाँ मेरी कंपनी के पैसे हैं बट वो रिटर्न ऑन एक्विटी में रिफ्लेक्ट करना चाहिए सो फिफ्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न ऑन एक्विटी से नीचे अगर होगी तो देर सम प्रॉब्लम समवेयर ट्वेंटी परसेंट से ऊपर है तो आपको ज्यादा मैनेजमेंट एनालिसिस ब्रॉडली नहीं करना होगा यूल बी फाइन सो दीज आर यू नो टेन सेकेंड थिंग्स सो आई एम नॉट थिंग यू शुड जस्ट डू दिस एंड नॉट डू दी अदर पार्ट टू इट बट दिस इज जस्ट अ 10 second yeah. drive into a company and to figure out whether the management is a chore or not a chore if he is doing 20% so upar roi then probably is not a chore correct that that's that's completely right i think uh, one more thing that i would like to know right and maybe it can be a story or an anecdote yeah. uh, but you know when we look at small cap companies right now we always want and picture is that ye small cap company aage ja ke large cap banega and obviously we've seen examples of earlier investors investing in page titan and you've done that right um so i want like if you can give us an example what what was your journey while you live invested in these companies when it was small cap and scalable. how it became large ba- large cap scalable scalable hona chahiye scalable hona chahiye to to aap aap ko yaad hai kabhi humne 15 minute pehle maine bola home finance yeah home yeah. finance se bada to scalable kuch ho hi nahi sakta hai correct matlab india mein home finance karna shuru kar diye to puri india bachi hai ghar kharidne ke liye aur rehne ke liye hmm. so it's usually scalable hmm. consumer consumer is usually scalable Hmm. textile is scalable but the low cost producer wins Correct. so with a small scale you cannot be the low cost producer hmm. metals with a small uh, revenue you cannot be the lowest cost producer so scalable Correct. and low cost of operations agar ye aapke paas hai so i think broadly you are fine aur agar low cost of operations aapke paas nahi hai to aap brand laiye fir so Correct. that some so the idea is you have to protect your turf from being attacked by competitors hmm. so you can either do it by making a brand out of your product or by producing at a very low cost of operations understood and what would you talk i mean what would you say about an exit strategy right because as i said i know a lot of investors 50% 60% game aa gaya dar jata hai aur nikal dete but maybe that company will become a 7x 8x 10x in the future small so, cap mein yeah. small cap mein valuation dekh ke nahi bechna chahiye ki ट्वेंटी का पी में खरीदा या फर्टी का पी हो गया अब इसको बेच दू वो आप लार्ज कैप में करिए ट्वेंटी का पी हो गया फर्टी का पी हो गया बेच दू बिकॉज स्मॉल कैप में क्या होता है कि आपको रेवेन्यू स्ट्रीम कितनी जल्दी आती है आपको पता ही नहीं चलता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आयशर मोटर स्टार्टेड एज ए टू व्हीलर कंपनी आई मीन स्टार्टेड वॉल्वो वाली कंपनी की वॉल्वो के ट्रक्स बेचेगी इंडिया में सडनली टू व्हीलर बिजनेस टू कॉप द रॉयल एनफील्ड एंड कंपनी वॉज एन अदर वॉज एन another planet altogether because the two wheeler business which nobody would have bought the stock for 
जस्ट टुक द कंपनी टू अनदर लेवल सो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन इन अ स्मॉल कैप आपको पता नहीं चलेगा कौन सा नया रेवेन्यू लाइन आएगा और कहां चेंज होगा टाइटन 2001 में वाज अ घड़ी की कंपनी Hmm. 2003 में तनिष के बेन सो वेन समन बॉट टाइटन इन टू थाउजेंड वन दॉज नो क्वेश्चन की इसमें ज्वेलरी रिटेलिंग होगा टू थाउजेंड नाइन में टाइटन आई आ गया उसके अंदर तो आप आई वेयर भी बेचना शुरू कर दिए सो विद स्मॉल कैप वही होती है कि एक घड़ी की कंपनी ज्वेलरी रिटेलिंग कंपनी बन जाती है आपको पता ही नहीं चलता है अगर आप 2003 में इसलिए बेच देते बिकॉज आपका पैसा तीन गुना चार गुना हो गया है और प्राइस अर्निंग रेशियो ऑलरेडी सिक्सटी हो गया देन फिर पैसा नहीं बनता है वैसे so then i think predominantly uh, the main focus should be on revenue growth and consistent revenue growth over Mas. years and years agar slow down ho gaya or you know someone else has come on their turf and competition zyada ho gaya and they're losing that is when you might take an exit call brilliant so uh, the, and the, the only thing is if my company is growing at 30% and somebody else is growing at 40% and the market is growing at 35% i'm losing market share correct, correct. i don't want to be in a situation where i'm growing at less than the market I want to be growing at more than the market. If somebody is undercutting and growing at more than the market, not a problem. Again, an example in 2007, ICICI Bank and Axis Bank went into Gujarat into the home lending business and started undercutting Guru Finance. Guru Finance withdrew mm-hmm. from the market. Said, "I'm to grow. I'm to loan. I need to give." Because it said, "I'm okay losing market share, but I don't want to." be doing business where i'm losing in money on an incremental basis and soon or later what happened icic bank and axis bank wo piche unko withdraw karna pada so you have to figure out ki agar koi growth bhi kar raha hai to aur uh-huh. unprofitable growth kar raha hai to soon or later it's going to stop that correct correct, correct. so it should be sustainable growth rate but very yeah. good growth rate yeah yeah okay got it vishram uh, vishwam hathi has asked a question um yeah. How many stocks should there be in a small case, a small cap, small case, or a portfolio? If somebody is creating their own, what is the good number? Own, दस रखो अगर पैसे बनाने हैं तो. Ten concentrated stocks. हाँ हाँ. अगर पैसे बनाने हैं तो आठ दस रखो. मतलब ten तो मैं ज़्यादा मैं बोला. अगर really पैसा बनाना है तो आठ, सात आठ, सौ आठ. और छेड़छाड़ मत करो उसमें. जो भड़ जाए ये नहीं कि उसको बेच कर जो नहीं भड़ा उसको ले लो. जो भर जाए उसको रहने दो जो घट जाए उसको रहने दो कोई गड़बड़ हो तो उसको बेच दो करेक्ट एंड एक और क्वेश्चन है लिखित से व्हाट ही इज आस्किंग इज डू टेक्निकल इंडिकेटर्स कम इन टू स्मॉल केस इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज लार्ज कैप में आप यूजुअली वो देखते हो नहीं देखते हैं बट क्या होता है जब मार्केट गिरता है ना सारे इंडिकेटर्स आपको बिकवा देंगे शेयर करेक्ट सो टेक्निकल इज मोर ऑफ अ बिजनेस वेयर यू आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू मेक 10x यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक 10 15% तो यू टू फिगर आउट कि आपको 10-15 परसेंट बनाना है कि को 10-15 गुना करना है अगर आपको 10-15 टाइम्स बनाना है तो टेक्निकल्स आपको नहीं टिका पाएगा वो कभी आर एस आई अस्सी मार देगा कभी आर एस आई बीस आ जाएगा तो आपको आगे पीछे वो गेम से निकाल देगा बट यस एवरी वन हैज दर ओन थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट आउट ऑफ अ स्टॉक आउट ऑफ अ मूव देन यू फाइन डूइंग टेक्निकल्स बट इफ यू बट कंपनी आफ्टर लॉट ऑफ फंडामेंटल थॉट एंड रिसर्च देन यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी जस्ट and cashing out of the company just because ki koi technical indicator na aapko sell bata diya correct and uh, i think ashmita asked a very nice question right now what is your view on nifty 5 years later i know it's very difficult to predict 5 years into the future nahi bahut simple hai nahi main batata hu bahut simple hai india ka india ka gdp growth 5% 6% inflation jod do 11 hai correct 11 ke upar do teen aur to nifty hai to bhai badhiya hi karega na india se to badhiya hi karegi tata steel aur tata motor infosys aur wipro and whatever so so 14%, so 14% ho gaya, aapko 72 by 14 is 5. So about uh, five years mein double ho gaya, nifty. So you can be looking at a nifty of 35 to 40,000 in five years. Beautiful. All basic basic arithmetic. Nifty will, nifty will catch up eventually. Yeah, yeah. yeah cap, all basic cap arithmetic. Small cap will catch up. Nee, nee, but small cap mein ye hoga, ki small cap next ek saal mein zyada badh jayega. Haan. Then three saal kuch nahi karega. Haan. Then last ke ek saal mein badh jayega. So it's a game between the tortoise And the 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 rabbit, yeah. wo wala game hai pura. Where the tortoise is the nifty, It'll keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, और जो रेबिट है वो आपका स्मॉल कैप है इंडेक्स की बात हो रही है yeah. जो दौड़ेगा भागेगा रुकेगा बट निफ्टी तो आपको पहुंचा देगा नहीं आप पार निफ्टी लगा देगी आपकी बट निफ्टी में मैजिक नहीं है वो टॉटोइस की स्पीड पे चलेगा and aapke hisab se which is the what do you feel is the best golden time to start investing heavily double down into small cap like as you said a goda phase hai fir ek tota hai abhi 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 karna karna hai to abhi karo 
और ये बढ़ जाएगा तो फिर उसमें उठ, उठा पटक मत करके अब बढ़े अब लेते हैं अब ये तो ब्रेकआउट आ गया अब ये अनचार्टेड है अभी ब्लू स्काई है अभी मार्स जा रहा है मून जा रहा है वो सब नहीं <laughs> आपको लेना है अर्थ पे लो ब्लू स्काई में मत लो बाइट वेन इट्स क्लोजर टू अर्थ देन इट्स इन ब्लू स्काई got it got it so i think these are very interesting questions guys i think first of all a lot of beautiful questions have come from the audience so guys if you have any more doubts any more questions i think abhi tak uh, an overall idea if i had to just sum up a little bit over here would be that don't focus too much on valuations when it comes to small cap focus yeah. on businesses um, and focus on the growth mainly the growth sales growth and diversification of that growth with different revenue streams right and as you said it you can't predict everything on day one ki ye boss ye hoga wo hoga it will come eventually over time Uh, so guys we want to individual stock reviews because i don't think that's allowed uh, we can't ask individual stock reviews but anything with respect to the small cap because there are some people asking ki aapke hisab se which are some really good small cases that you see sorry small cap companies that you see will do really well in the future so i don't know whether that's allowed to ask or not so i will leave no that. no no it is definitely it's allowed, allowed to ask no no it's definitely allowed to ask but goda ghas se dosti karega to khayega kya So maybe that's the thing. Max, I think one or two because a lot of people are asking that question right now. No, no. See, uh, see. I, I, I can just give you a broad sense out of it. Yeah. So, so one media streaming company which we have there is called Tips Industries. Yes. So, so very basic. It's very simple. You go to YouTube, go to the songs, go to the incremental cost. It's not there. Who comes? Everything comes. And because of Jio and the spread of bandwidth, there has been so much of a uh, internet revenue boom. Yes. 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 Yes
so this is i think very interesting right and ek aur question tha i think a lot of people recently were also talking about apna india ka defense theme and we're very bullish on defense going forward and all that but do you think there's a impact of defense on small cap companies and is it a good theme to even look at uh, i mean uh, we miss the entire thing if you yeah. ask me because लॉन्ग टर्म वायबिलिटी मुझे समझ नहीं आती डिफेंस स्टॉक्स में कैसे होती है जैसे आपको याद आज से कई साल पहले रेलवे बजट के पहले रेलवे स्टॉक्स टेक्समैको वैक्समैको बढ़ने लग जाते थे रेलवे बजट आने के पहले वेन वेन यू हैव दिस डिफरेंशिएशन सो दीज आर कंपनीज डू वेल वन एवरी थ्री फोर फाइव ईयर्स पीपल बाय देम एंड देन यू गेट स्टक ऑन टू देम एंड देन यू वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट बोर्डर टू ऑफ लोड सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी डूंग ऑल डॉट एंड दैट्स रीजन वाई वी नेवर लुक डेट इट इवन दो वी थॉट डेट इट माइट ऑफर पोटेंशियल बिकॉज आपको पता ही नहीं चलेगा इसमें से एग्जिट कब करना है थिंग बट या मोस्ट ऑफ दम स्मॉल कैप्स एंड हैव डन वेल मोस्टली पी एस यूज है Understood. Mr. PSU so, banks, PSU banks have done well. They've done better than Kotak Bank or Bajaj Finance or correct. maybe an Axis or an HDFC or ICIC. This doesn't make them better than Axis or ICIC or HDFC or Bajaj Finance because hmm. go over a longer period of time, it's a no-brainer as to who's going to win the game. Correct. And I think Sudanshu Pata is asking a question. Um, yeah. He's saying, "What is your take on the retail segment of India for the next few years?" As you said, you are also bullish on the retail and consumer sector, right? Uh, do you think in India will become? Uh, I mean, India is going to improve its consumption story, which I think a lot of people are also thinking of. Consumption and financials. So, sure. because your two thousand dollar per capita income is there, then roti kapda makan cable TV is going to increase. You are saying, "Boy, mm-hmm. roti kapda makan cable TV is done." अब जाए कुछ शर्ट खरीदे कुछ पैंट खरीदे कुछ गाड़ी खरीदे बाइक खरीदे अगर आपका तीन हजार डॉलर पर कैपिटल इनकम जाता है देन यू कैन बोरो फॉर योर फ्यूचर नीड्स फ्रॉम योर प्रेजेंट अर्निंग्स राइट बिकॉज आपके प्रेजेंट अर्निंग में सरप्लस आएगा तो आपको जो लेंडर आएगा तो वो लेंडर आपको बता देगा कि भाई इसको तो बाद में इनकम आएगी इसको भी फंड कर दो अब कोई 500 डॉलर ही कमा रहा है उसको तो सरप्लस ही नहीं होगा उसको तो फंड भी कर देगा तो रिकवर कैसे करेगा सो कंज्यूमर एंड फाइनेंशियल टू बिग थिंग्स टू गो फॉर ओवर द नेक्स्ट Five seven years at least, so that's a proper yeah. way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah, I think what we've seen in the last few years, fintech ka jo boom hai India mein, yeah. UPI and Jio. I think these two things are the maximum game changers that we see in both these uh, things. Uh, ek ek aur last question de the audience. Hai. I think that's yeah. from Sangram Nayak, and what he's saying is, what is the selection screener you use to do so- stock selection? Do you do it quantitatively or qualitatively? How do you even find business these- model? Business model, business model, model qualitatively. मुझे okay. मुझे नौ का पी का स्टॉक नहीं चाहिए बिकॉज नौ का पी का स्टॉक कब लॉस में आ जाएगा मुझे पता नहीं अगर वो टेक्सटाइल है या वो मेटल है या वो है मुझे चाहिए थर्टी पी इज ऑल्सो गुड फॉर मी बट द बिजनेस हैज टू बी वैल्यूबल एंड इट हैज टू बी रोबस्ट दैट्स द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया perfect and i think basant sir if you can tell maybe two or three this is something that i ask to everyone who comes on the live right uh two or three important fundamentals to live by when you're doing small cap investing for the audience that are watching right don't forget type of fundamental things that you you would like to say to them so the first thing is aap uh, jaake uh, it's it's a bit of a homework for you guys also yeah. get a list of the top 100 nifty small cap companies and make a list of the ones that have done well and the ones that have not done well Hmm. the ones that have done well will give you a certain flair and a theme the consumers do well financials do well home finance does well what doesn't do well textile doesn't do well what doesn't do well psu metals don't do well what doesn't do well i mean wind power suzlon type companies they don't do well to aapko ek sense aa jayega ki kya banta hai isme kya nahi chalta hai so uh, because uh, many i mean uh, someone said this uh, all i want to know is where i'm going to die because that's where i because then i will never go there so if you know that these are the places where you're going to die then you don't want to go there so i think agar aap yahi yaad rakhoge ki past history se kaun si company achhi ki hai technology mm-hmm. does very well as a small cap mm-hmm. or technology mein the chances of making it big is uh, pretty high then for example vakrangi was also technology but vakrangi does not have a did not have a listed us comparison there तो वक्रांगी का आप लेते भी तो आप बोलते हैं इंडिया में ही सब कुछ हो रहा है क्या इनोवेशन अमेरिका में तो नहीं हो रहा है सो यू हैव टू लुक एट दीज काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज जहां बिजनेस मॉडल स्ट्रांग हो और जिनका कंपेरेबल यूएस में कोई काउंटर पार्ट हो हु इज मेड इट बेक आई थिंक दैट शुड बी अ गुड स्टार्टर फॉर पीपल 
perfect so i think guys uh, i would like all of you all i think we've had really good turnout today really good uh, you know audience who's been watching and asking some amazing questions and it's already been one hour so first i want all of you guys to thank basan sir for coming here and giving us the time of the day to educate us on the small cap industry and what to look at what not to look at both do's and don't and i love the way uh, basan sir is very unfiltered and unbiased about his opinions which is very nice to hear um and it's not you know like other people who think too much i think you are very silly like, boss aisa mat karo aisa karo so again basan sir thanks a lot for thank coming you. here on this live um and guys please thank basan sir as well yeah thank you thank you basan sir thank you yeah thank you guys i'll see you guys soon yeah bye